everyone! Happy Wednesday! Feels much better to get the video out on time than super, super late. So that's already a step in the right direction for this week. So we've come to that time again in the month where I tell you what I've been reading over the last 30 days and maybe get some book recommendations from you. I don't know, just if you're feeling generous. So without further ado, here we go. The first book I want to talk to you about is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. It is the second book of the Divergent Chronicles or trilogy or I don't know what she calls it. Whatever whatever people are calling it these days. I, I don't know. So what do I have to say about Insurgent? Um, I think what I liked most about this book was finding out more about how some of the different factions worked. Um, like their internal workings. I thought that was kind of interesting. We got to go outside the giant gate. That was kind of cool. And we found out there's a whole crap ton more divergent people than just Triss and Tobias. So I hope I didn't spoil that for you. Although it's pretty clear that they're divergent in the first book. Like, I don't know, pretty quickly, I thought. Overall, uh, it was it was not a bad read. Um, I'm currently reading the third one, so we'll see how that goes. That one's going a little bit uh, slower. So, um, yeah, I don't think that necessarily has anything to do with the story and more has to do with the fact that I don't have a week and a half of vacation in June and I've been really busy. So it's summer for crying out loud. There's festivals and road trips and other awesome things. I also read How to Train Your Dragon by Cressida Cowell, mostly because I didn't read it. I listened to it through Audible, and David Tennant does the audiobook. Who doesn't love David Tennant? I thought How to Train Your Dragon was super cute, totally different than the movie, which was interesting. Uh, but it was good. I liked it. The other two books that I read this month are on the complete other side of the spectrum of the first two. Uh, one of them was Tina Fey's Bossy Pants, which was hilarious. I found myself laughing out loud at different parts of this book. It was really, really funny. I had had this book on my to read shelf for a real long time and I'm really glad that I finally decided to read it because it was so, so good. And because I had liked that one so much, I decided to go to another book similar to that and read Mindy Kaling's Is Everybody Hanging Out Without Me? And that one also made me laugh out loud. It was so funny and I didn't think I liked Mindy as much as I do, but I've decided, uh, and Ronnie has also decided this, that if Mindy was in our lives, she would be our friend because she's a little bit nutty and uh, that's good stuff. She's a big fan of shopping. I feel like she might be a better friend with Ronnie than me. But we share some nerdy things. This past weekend we were in Cleveland. We went and saw the Impractical Jokers or the Tenderloins, depending on if you know them from True TV or you know them before they had a TV show. And they were hilarious. I loved their show. It was so funny. Their humor is very similar to what you see on the television show. It's just that they don't have to censor themselves for television, so it's even more funny. Uh, I don't... I don't know. It was really good. And it was really cool because we were part of the biggest audience they've ever performed in front of. So how cool is that, right? I mean, we were part of their history or something like that. I feel like that's a thing, right? Whatever. And then because we were in Cleveland, and how do you not do this if you're in Cleveland, we headed down to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which was phenomenal. If you've never made it to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I would recommend going, especially if you like any type of music. Not just rock music, literally any type of music. It's so, so cool. I thought it was really interesting to see the different clothing that people wore. And then you look at their clothing and you think, my God, that person must be so tiny they could fit in my pocket. There are certain people that I had no idea were so small. It's weird. Also, I'm a huge, huge fan of Stevie Nicks. And they had a whole display of all these different outfits that she's worn to different award ceremonies or videos or album covers or photo things, sessions, whatever you call those. Sorry, my brain stopped working for a minute. Anyway, really cool, awesome stuff. I would recommend anybody go there if you ever get a chance because it's really cool and I really enjoyed it. And you can take pictures, which is also cool because some museums don't let you do that. And, and they did. So there we go. 
the temperature is starting to climb up here in Michigan and it's starting to get uncomfortably warm in my house. I think I'm going to have to bust out the air conditioners, but it's been so up and down that I haven't had to do this yet. And yeah, but I've given up ever wearing my hair down if I don't have an air conditioner because it is hot and my hair is heavy. So I don't know why I felt like you needed to know that, but there you go. As always, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye!